everybody, it's me again, and welcome back to episode number 27 of Syndicate Shenanigans. We're finally getting close to 100%ing this game. Uh, I have Evie in this outfit. I don't know if I did a video of her in this. I believe it's Lady Maline's gown? But it's in red, because I fucking love red. But we're not going to do an episode in this outfit. We're going to do this episode in the outfit that I just got last time, which I couldn't put on because I was playing as Jacob. There it is. Holy mother of... Could it be the garments of Minerva, member of the- WHAT?! It is believed Minerva wore this protective outfit while in combat. There's a reason people believe she was the goddess of war. Decreased melee damage, range damage, and increased cane sword damage. Do I have cane swords for you? I believe I might. Oh my fucking god, yes! I have 49,000. I think I can go ahead and spend 7,500. Okay. Never thought I'd say those words out loud. <laughs> but, okay, here we go. Oh, that's so gorgeous. That's the steampunk one. Okay, so that's the last outfit for Evie that I have unlocked. And it's amazing. I can't, I can't change the colors on this, can I? No, it stays white. Okay. And I have a white cape already. Oh my fucking fuck. Inspired by Minerva's famed battle attire, which is what I'm wearing right now, this may not be a precursor artifact, but is still one of the finest cloaks one could possess. Well, that's nice. Oh, I love it! Oh, this is amazing! And I have a cane sword for you? No, you have brass knuckles? When did I give you brass knuckles? Is it ironic to have an elephant out of ivory? Just asking. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, hold on. I need the, a good cane sword. You could say this cave is a real nightmare. <laughs> You're hilarious. 160 of the. <laughs> okay. And. Wow, I have plenty. Sure. I get increased cane sword damage with this outfit, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch. And I can't upgrade it, so. But that's okay. So I have the best cane sword in the game right now, which is this one for some reason with a horse on it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Okay, so we're all outfitted and ready to go. I'm all glitchy looking! Oh my god, it's beautiful! I'm getting so many weird looks right now, except not really. Everyone is completely ignoring me. Okay, but let's see. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? I wanna do a Charles Dickens mission, because I'm in the Strand, and I'm close to it already. 50 Berkeley Square. I wonder what this one is. Hey! I bet I still got like a sore thumb now, don't I? <laughs> Investigate the most haunted house in London! A haunted house?! We're in October! This is perfect! And I get Charles Dickens' cane sword. I hope that's better than the one I just bought. Yeah, let's do it! Okay, awesome. Oh, so, um, we're doing it at night? Oh, this is so awesome! Oh, I'm so excited. These are my favorite side quests in the whole game. I love these. These are so cool. How nice to see you again, Mr. Dickens. Is it time for another of the Ghost Club stories? As a matter of fact, yes. Follow me. Okay. Following. Barclay Square. Four stories high and branded. Beware all those who enter. Creepy. There have been many strange tales of this dreadful domicile. The earliest report of a haunting was said to be the specter of a small girl who was murdered by a servant. Really? She was seen at the attic windows. Weeping and wringing her little hands in an agony of despair. That's creepy. Okay. I have to reach. Oh, thank you! He led me to the nearest carriage. Things, the attic is haunted by the spirit of a young woman who purportedly threw herself from the top floor windows to escape her abusive uncle. Oh, that's horrible. A screaming horrible. ghost has reportedly been sighted hanging from the window ledge. Oh, that's this so creepy. was briefly owned by a Mr. James Jasper, a choir master and an opium addict. Oh, great. His nephew, Edward, was betrothed to one of Mr. Jasper's pupils, the fair and delicate Rose. However, Edward disappeared under mysterious circumstances, followed by Jasper himself. Perhaps grief sent him back to the soothing arms of his narcotic mistress. Interesting. A lot of shit's gone down in this house. Let's see what's going on. I wish there were more of these. Like, these and the Frontiersman missions in Assassin's Creed 3, where you, like, debunk popular myths of the era, were my favorites. I love you these. Know. I only have one more after this one. Alright, made it. 
That woman's in a hurry. <laughs> Nation, can you do me a favor? Can you back that up and put the Betty Hill music in as she's running along? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh god, that's funny. Okay, I'm checking the windows. I want to see. Move it! Nothing in the windows that I can see. Okay, this is spooky. We're going into a haunted house. Ready? Happy October, everybody! Let's do it. Though this house is vacant, some say it comes alive at night with screams of terror, ringing bells, and slamming shutters. Well then. Uh, who's playing the piano? Alright, let's go visit the piano room. Whenever I move, the glitchiness happens in this outfit. That's so cool. Pardon! You don't have anybody playing you! Although eerie, this phenomenon is easily produced by pneumatic tubes and valves. Uh, okay. There are claims that a young man was caged in the attic. His only connection to the rest of the world, a tiny hole in the door. A young man who was reduced to madness by this extreme isolation. The legends okay. all seem to focus on one room in particular. The attic? The attic. Okay, let's go up and see the attic. Is that a crib? Fucking goddammit, it's a crib. And it's rocking by itself. That's really creepy. A sudden draft. Nothing more. Well, you say that, sir. I've seen some shit. <laughs> My word. Perhaps, perhaps I shall wait here while you what? investigate the source of that laughter. Which is not at all <laughs> Of course, Sister Dick. <laughs> Look at him. He's like, oh dear God. All right, I'm going to visit the kid. Kid! Am I inspecting the piano again? Or is, is, is she under the piano? Inspect it, damn it. <laughs> nope, she's not under the piano. She's in my right ears. Uh, hey! Where are you going? Why are you freaking me? Oh god, why does there have to be triplets? Oh, I'll go for this one first! Hey! You little dick! He's a fast little fucker. Get back here! You delinquent! <laughs> Look at him run! He's getting those knees up! <laughs> That's funny. Oh, you think you can outrun me? Hey! Get back out! Where the hell were you going? Let me go, you moke! Whoa, hey, that's Charlie. language. Now tell me, why were you at that house? What's it to you? Out with it. Right away! We were there for the treasure. We found a key to the secret passage. What secret passage? Yeah, number 50's got a secret passage. Here, take it. Just leave me be. Okay. That explains something, right? I gotta, like, they were creating all these fake haunting phenomena to keep people away because they were hiding treasure, right? But who was hiding treasure? Mr. Jasper? Or did they miraculously disappear into the secret passage? Potentially? Ooh, intriguing indeed. Hello, Mr. Dickens. Don't worry about it. It wasn't I a ghost. A lock, but I haven't located the key. A lock? It's here. That was one hell of an invisible lock you detected. Oh, never mind. It's right there. Okay, just kidding. <laughs> I'm just blind. What? Oh, that's so cool. Okay, two more, two more clues. Hold me, Mr. Dickens. I want to go first. What is? Oh my, levers. What? I really don't like this all of a sudden. <laughs> what the fuck is that? And where is it coming from? <laughs> so this is how it works. Impressive. Uh, 
Oh, I see. Okay, that's the lever that starts the piano. But what about the breathing? Uh. What the hell? Whoa, hey! Charles, wait, Charles Jasper? It should have been enough to keep my beloved nephew away. My poor Ned. Wait, what? Forgive. Uh. Oh, I killed him. Uh, so... I would like to... Okay. By the time I'm editing this through, I probably have figured it out. But, uh, some... I... The... <laughs> I'm a little confused, but it's just because I don't exactly remember the specific details of the stories that Dickens told me. So, yeah, by the time I edit this through, I'll probably have figured it out. As of now, though, I'm a little confuzzled. But okay, there was a madman breathing on the other side of the wall, and that was really, that was really scary, actually. <laughs> that was really creepy. But, yeah, okay, I don't know anything about treasure. But he is obviously doing that on purpose to keep people away. For some reason, I have no idea. Hello, something to do with love, of course. Alas, the myth has been discredited. There was no ghost in yeah, Barclay Just a Square. fucking maniac. Just a wretched soul, driven to murder and madness by guilt and intoxication. I think this is the makings of a rather fine novel. I wonder if I've got one left in me. <laughs> oh, that's actually sad. <laughs> oh. All right, we did it! Haunting debunked! Oh, that was really good. I liked that one. And I get a new cane sword! Oh, I should've rated it! Fuck! I always rate the Dickens missions five. I forgot, though. Okay, hold on. Let me get my new, uh... Right off the bat here. This one's actually slightly better. Oh, fuck it. Where's Charles Dickens' cane sword? Lord Pearson? There it is. It's not very good. <laughs> It might not look like much, but the only thing mightier than his the sword is the pen, of course. But uh, yeah, my my thing's better, so I won't get it. Okay, yay! Another Charles Mickens, Mickens fucking another Charles Mickens dishing down. <laughs> God damn it, I'm an idiot. Okay, let's see, what should we do next? But wait, where, where's the next Charles Dickens mission? There's a D there, M, C, down in Lambeth, really, the Terror of London. I get the spring heel Jack belt. Does that mean spring heel Jack's coming? I thought I killed him. Interesting. I guess. You know what? I haven't done any train missions, so let me go ahead and do one. I didn't know. Besides Agnes's stuff, I did one of Agnes's missions, but I have a couple more of those left. At least one more or two. But there's other train missions that I wasn't aware of until recently, so um, I have quite a few of those to do. So I'll go ahead and knock one out right now. Oh right, and I did say I was gonna. I did say I was gonna read one more intel. Spat. He's in a foul mood? Why? We're getting Mowied! Mowage! Okay, actually, before I do this train mission, let's go ahead and listen to this last database entry. The very last one. Let's do it! Isabel, what brings you here? I came to gloat, actually. Look at this data. A sage! It gets better. Check his patrilineal line. Let's see. Patrilineal life. 19th century American Midwest, 18th century American Revolution, 16th century Ottoman Empire, 15th century Italian Renaissance. Oh my god. You don't mean. Yeah. The best part? His mother just walked him into one of your new clinics in New York City. Oh, I'd really like to strip him for parts like we did with Subject 17. Oh no, you don't. You had your chance with the Shroud. This asset is mine, and I won't be a party to the needless mutilation of a ten-year-old boy. It's inhumane. So what do you plan to do with him? Given his unique lineage, I think we should put him into an animus for the next 50 years. Think of the data we could extract. That's terribly old-fashioned. In any case, we should send Sigma team to recover him. No. I'm going to keep an eye on him for now. We'll collect him when the time is right. What? There's another sage out there. 
a little boy. So it's definitely not John because this is dated in 2015 after John was killed. And he was naming off all the eras we've already seen. 18th century American Revolution, 16th century Italian Renaissance. We've seen those already. Were there sages in those games? No. Whoa. But who is this kid? In 2015, after the death of John Standish, who is this kid? Is it John Standish's son? Is it a sage from a different from a different lineage. I don't know if that's possible though, because the sages are all basically, they began with Juno's husband, Aita. Could she have split his consciousness into multiple subjects? I have no idea, but that's really weird. And that they said strip for parts like they did with Seventeen. Oh, that's so horrible. I hate that. That sucks with this little boy. Are we gonna see him? In the next game, is this a thing? Is that another part of the present day thing? Are we gonna need to save the little boy? Oh, okay. There's a lot to think about with that one. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, feel free, guys, to put your own theories down in the comments or if I'm missing something blatant. I am keeping that one in mind and I'm gonna be fucking listening to that one again on my own time. Whoa, okay. A long night. Let's do this one. Find the wayward apprentice and bring him back to the train's hideout safely. Okay. Oh, I guess I have to be Jacob for this one. Sure, this is supposed to be an Eevee episode, but I was unaware that I had to be Jacob for this one. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, it's the end of the episode anyhow, so we're going to be switching eventually. Okay, investigate the bar clues. Pardon? <sighs> Holy mother of Christ, that's a long way away, and it's a mission so I can't fast travel, right? Yep, fast travel points are unavailable. Be a goddamn dick, game. You're gonna make me run a thousand meters from Waterloo Station. Oh my god, you suck. Mer, mer, damn it. Oh good. Great time for me to get hiccups. Oh, <laughs> you almost stuck that landing, Jacob. <laughs> you were close. <laughs> Ooh, twins to murder! <laughs> Fuck off. Alright, here we are. Jesus, that mission start couldn't have put me further away from this fucking thing. Hello, sir. Would you look at this mess? Young Bumboozer comes in here, argues with the regulars, rattles their cage. I don't need problems like that. Well, I'm sorry. Let's go talk to the other boss here, shall we? Look at you in your private booth. Did you see anything? Did you see where Bob went, mate? What? Bob? Bob's me chummy. This guy needs to hurry up and hit puberty already. <laughs> My goodness. Bartender! I'm looking for Bob the Apprentice. Yeah, I seen him. Looked like he was about to vomit. I told him to get out of it. He went to throw up in the alley. And that's what the guy's sweeping up out there with a broom. That's nice. Investigation zone, which is not near me, unlocked. Yay, okay. More running! <laughs> Fucking god. Pardon me, sir! Pardon me, madam! Back in the alley. Where is... Hello. Bob, I presume. What is this? I just want to look. It appears that Bob broke his pocket watch. Or somebody broke it for him. Oh no, not the pocket watch. For the watch. That's very sad. Not quite as sad anymore, but... What sort of fighting about? Are you Bob? Uh, probably not Bob. Okay. You! This is a whole lot of trouble to find someone who just needs to oil the friggin' train. You, sir. No, not you. Okay. Hi. Hey, can I have a bit of privacy? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, a drunk bloke. Group of bashers followed him. Really? Okay, I'll leave you to it then. <laughs> Aha! More clues! Is that blood? Uh-oh. Blood. This doesn't look sunny for Bob. 
It does not indeed. Even more blood. Yay! This reminds me an awful lot of something. That's drag marks in blood. Oh! In so much blood. I hope it's not yours, brother. Oh, no! No, 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 kill him! Don't kill him! Leave Bob alone, you bastards! That was supposed to be a double, and it would have been really cool. Hey, are you still drunk? Yep, he's still drunk. <laughs> Alright, music. Come along, Bob. You want it back in the train. Follow me? Well, that's just lovely. Come on, then. I have to freaking... I have to We're walk him. friends now, aren't we? Well, but let's not say that so creepily. All right. <laughs> I'm just twisting his arm behind his back and walking him to the train. I was hoping I'd have to pick him up and hold him over my shoulder. Oh my God! Shut up, dude. Such wild fantasies you have, Paul. Oh shoot! There's bad guys here. All right, time to walk slowly. Out of the way. I'm just. Yeah, a little too thirsty, if you don't mind. Are you really moving? Get the f Tell me something. Fight him! Keep him away! Murder him! No, shut up. Kill him! Thank you. <laughs> now fight them! Nope, never. <laughs> All right, I'm at, oh, uh oh, these lady friends of yours. Uh-oh. No! You bastards! Pick on somebody your own sobriety! Yeah! I kind of stabbed him in the heart. I think his health would be a little lower than that, just saying. Also, I need to turn this volume fucking down. I'm yelling over it. Jeez. Bob is bleeding. Hurry. Oh, fuck. Bob. Bob. Let's take a little jaunt to the hospital. Shall we? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Put him in the carriage. You mother. What? I'm getting a man to a hospital. This is like getting pulled over for speeding, trying to get your wife, who's in labor, to the freaking delivery room. You assholes! Shut up, don't talk. Shut okay, you're fine. You're officially fine. <laughs> you don't need any more liquid falling out of you at this point, Bob. Just let me take you to the hospital. Which is 700 meters away. I know, but I'm kind of in a hurry. Ah, that's the blood loss. Don't worry about it. My driving's fine. A few moments of temporary discomfort will be worth it in the end when I get you to the hospital in time to save your goddamn life. That's very funny. she can. So wait, I'm delivering Bob to the train hideout now. Wait. Wait a minute. Who's a good boss? Can we go be I appear to be bleeding. As a girl? Wait, I drove him all the way to the hospital and now I'm not even okay. Ooh, ooh, that hurt him. Oh god. Sorry. I'm gonna go around this way. I'm almost there. There! Oh my god, that was close. His health is really low. Hey, Agnes. He's oh. hurt. The laddie's been stuck like a pig. Yes. Here, I'll set you up. We needed something to numb the pain. Ah, oh, I'll get my whiskey. Could you make a gin? <laughs> oh, he'll be fine. He'll be alright. <laughs> okay, I did it. I didn't even notice I was full sync. Show so much I was paying attention. Oh, that was good! <laughs> Alrighty, that's another train mission down, and that took a lot longer than I thought. So, uh, that'll about do it for this episode of Syndicate Shenanigans. I hope you guys are enjoying. Like and favorite if you are, subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you in my next episode.